so what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ coming to you live with another video man check it out man this is a tutorial that some of you all desperately need and when i'm saying some of you all i mean like 90 percent of the people that play center out there i'm going to show you how to get to the tutorial right now play now go down to 2ku 2ku tips glossary hit the left trigger what one two three four five times six off ball defense this is what a lot of you who play on the perimeter play play in the paint wherever this is where you need to go the 2k tips glossary 2k u tips glossary and look at how to play post defense this is one of the biggest things a lot of you guys need how to box out don't box out underneath the basket box the man out way away from the basket and then you can actually get a rebound and they won't keep rebounding on you so just to moving on up, rebound, press triangle. Now the rest of the stuff is like this, man. Bumping, chucking, grabbing, deny, deny, engage. All this other stuff is right here. These are the tips to playing defense that nobody, it seems like I, I watch people play Pro-Am, I watch people play everything and nobody does this. The only thing that everybody does is, is to try to stand in front of that man and then just press X, I mean, I'll press X to square when the ball is coming. Instead of playing, playing the game like this, just straight up and I'll show y'all why in a minute I mean some of these moves I've literally won games off bump you get in the you get in that path and then you just press uh left trigger or L2 Chuck you uh you a left trigger and push the right stick into them grab just push both of the sticks at the person and you'll grab them and that's another way you uh, what's secret about that is you can make yourself faster actually if your guy's running up court and he's faster than you if you can catch up with him and you can uh and you can do the grab you will actually be whatever speed he is and you can push him out of bounds and win games off of it too i've done that before um i mean uh, uh yesterday deny hands out this is just very simple just move the right stick in their direction deny engage just stand in their way and hold l post up engage this is where you try to keep the guy from getting in the paint. If you know what you're doing, it goes with the next one. Post push. Use the left the left trigger, uh, left left stick toward where the person is pushing. Somebody had hit me up with that one, and he was telling me this action, the post push also works if they're trying to back you down. If you can hit the exact direction that they're backing you down when they just keep bumping and bumping. And uh, if you actually, what I do is, like my man told me in the comments, I alternate left trigger, right trigger, and then I just I tap this. Uh, I hold uh, right stick to try to figure out where it's gonna go. Pull the chair. This one is a really good one. That it never happens like that, but what it, it's, it's really just post disengage is what it is. So um, you'll see that more than anything. But you'll hardly ever pull the chair and just make them do that. I haven't been able to do make get this animation even once. Post transition. I don't. I don't recommend using this one because i mean you you a lot of times you can get yourself out of position and the, and the guys warp through you so much on this game too like there's not there, there's nothing that's going to be a hundred percent but there's no hundred percent defense this is only to make it tough on your opponent uh post fight for position this is when you're holding uh left trigger you're moving the right stick so you you, you try to you pretty much you try to deny them, but at the same time you don't want them to be able to get to the spot that they want to get to this is the only thing that i see most of you guys do right here post steal entry pass but you're not engaged and you're not fronting them and you're not doing anything you're just spamming trying or spamming uh x or square begging for an animation just hoping that you get something instead of playing the proper defense post disengage like i said this is the one that, that most people are gonna get um the way that i use the post the, the post disengage most times is if they try to they try to post me up, I just get off of them and then try to go somewhere else where they can't uh, do it. And then die for loose ball, the one that everybody already knows, nobody really cares about. But uh, last year, you couldn't get most of these animations unless you had a certain level of strength. This year, everybody has high strength or decent strength, so everybody can get it. So really, the, the main ones are these, bump, chuck, and grab. The not hands out, everybody already knows about that. But if you learn how to master these three, bump, chuck, and grab, you can make it very difficult 
on your defender. I mean, on, on your on, on the guy that's trying to on defense for the person that's on that's on you. You can make it very difficult. Like I said, these are advanced. The post, the 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 the, 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 the deny, the post deny, the post engage, uh, post up engage, uh, pushing and all that. These that all this stuff is pretty advanced. Like you have to be have been doing it for a while. But I can't tell you how many centers I have played with over the past few days. I just I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna make myself a center. Now, again, if you have a player who is literally brain dead and is hell bent on just pushing his way into the paint and just gonna keep walking in there and standing there, and his team is going to give it to him time after time, there is nothing that you can do about it. But this will make it very hard on them. And it, another thing it'll do is it will run the shot clock. Maybe he can't get down there until, instead of getting down there with 20 seconds left, maybe he can't get down there until it's like four or five seconds left and now he has to hurry. Or you may, you may use some of these moves to lock him in the paint. Like I, I, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll bump you coming to the paint and then you come back and I'll chuck you. Next time I'll grab you when you try to go out of bounds and then I'll use the deny and gauge when you try to come back in bounds so you can't really go anywhere. And, and I just I just fight you all the way to make it make you get a three seconds or something like that. But like I said, if somebody has an athletic finish and they're hell been on going down there, it the, the only thing you can really do at that point is just hold your hands up and then try to time that jump. Hopefully, most times one or two things is going to happen. You have succeeded in making them be far enough away from the basket where they don't just get an automatic posterizer animation, which I wish they would take out of the game because it's stupid. Or number two, you have run so much time off the clock that um that they, they won't have much time but like i said man if you got athletic finish you might as well just jump or try to time to jump or try to get their rhythm or whatever because i mean if, if you're going against somebody that's patient in the post nine times out of ten they're going to score that ball anyway but um this helps you not allow them to get in position to feel comfortable scoring the ball that, that, and that's all this is doing does this is what i do if you see me play with my center uh, you probably see. I wonder can I even find while while we're doing all this. I wonder can I find the video where we were where we were about to lose. We were literally about to lose the game, and uh, I, I I pushed the dude out of bounds, and we won. Hold up, is this it right here? Yeah, yeah, this is it right here. Um, we were literally about to lose this game. Literally about to. Lo what were we about to lose? No, 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 no. It was right here. All right, so it was. They had 19. Uh, and here we go. 17, 17. I know they had the ball back or something. Either way, hold up. Is this me getting dunked on? Yeah, that's me getting dunked on. Like I said, Gene, you're not going to stop anything 100% of the time. Sauce hit 20. This was not, this must not have been the game. I, I dipped out on him on that one. Uh, let's see if there's another game. I'm trying to find a game where the guy, they literally were about to win the game. And um, I was able to push him out of bounds in order to, yeah, I think this is it right here. Uh, nope, not that one. Maybe this one? Yeah, they seem to have been up the whole time. Dun, 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 dun. They're up, they're up, they're up. We made a mistake, Sauce took, some, took a bad shot. And we come back down, they're winning 17, whatever. Yeah, here we go, right here. Okay, so, were we, um, was this where I pushed him out of bounds? All right, here we go, check it out. He's gonna try to go to, okay, yeah, he got, he scored on that one. I'm trying to show you where this move came in handy for us. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We thought we were gonna lose. And here we go. He's gonna try to go. I'm gonna fight him for position. Oh, dang it. Well, that wasn't where he just went out of bounds. Okay, well, maybe I just completely, completely got everything wrong. I thought that that was the one when I was able to put, I was able to ride him out of bounds. And uh, we we won the game. I mean, it was a close game. It was, it was a lot closer than I than I wanted it to be, but maybe that happened before. If I can't find it, I just can't find it, okay? Get off my back. Get off my back. But anyway, like I said, man. All right, yeah, here we go, here we go. Is that it? Nope. Nah, that's just me playing good defense right there. Like I said, though, I mean, hey, you can you can see right here. Check it out. Okay, check it out. This, this is one right here. He's going up the court. I'm going to engage him because he's faster than I am. Ride him on to the basket. Now he's locked on the basket. There's nothing he can do. I'm thinking they're going to pass it. They do pass it. He's under the goal. Boom. Like, you're not going to stop people 100% of the time, man. But the biggest thing with this game is you just want to 
I think we only had two close calls this morning. Oh, yeah, that, that might have been it. I think we only had two close calls this morning. So uh, the only thing that you really want to do is just make sure that you just want to make sure. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go right here. Boom. Out of bounds. There we go. Check it out. All right. So I did find it. He's running up court. He's obviously faster than I am. I'm going to grab him, push him, push him, push him. He catches the ball, goes out of bounds. Like, it's cheap, but that literally saved the game for us. Me fighting this guy the entire way saved the game for us. And he's one of those guys that was literally hell bent on, I'm going to get in the paint. They're going to, I'm going to post up and give, and we're going to force the ball to him. And because they did that, hey, we end up winning the game. And I'll show you this game in its entirety. Uh, later on, but it ends up being the same thing. They literally were going to try to force the ball to him every single time, but because of that, you know, we were able to win the game, and I had a perfect game, obviously, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys, man. These moves, can I go back and it still be there? Yeah, these moves win games. Like, it's not just about getting steals, getting blocks, and all of that. This is really about playing good basketball riding people grabbing their shirts making it uncomfortable for people to to play against you you just want somebody like like it's like what coach you said you might not be as good as big and strong but if you make them fight for every inch of space that they have on the court i mean it might have been somebody else that said it might have been on tv i don't know make them fight for every inch of field every inch of court every inch of everything that they get and I guarantee they'll get tired before you do. And they'll just be frustrated to the point where I guarantee he, he checked out of the game after that. And they should have won that game because they were winning. But it is what it is, man. I, I Look, I just try to show you guys proof of games that I've played and used with these. And, I mean, this is my center. So I was able to do things like this with my small four. But this year, there's such a strength disparity between the small forward and the centers that you're not going to do this with a small forward this year, not even 6'9". So I had to go ahead and make myself – a, uh, a center and like I said I'm not getting beasted on with, with anything like I said I mean you're going to lose a couple of games but who who's not going to lose games except for the people in the chat because y'all are undefeated in the chat and you only play comp games I only play bombs and I still take losses but you guys in the chat y'all are undefeated you're the best players ever that nobody knows about and you only play comp games so hey it is what it is anyway I'm about to get up out of here man hope you guys enjoyed the video Take these with a grain of salt or just try to use them. I mean, I, I think it's great. I think it, it helps me a lot. And a lot of people don't even know that this is here. But I'm out of here. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this month. Hey, some of you all really need this because I am tired of playing with you all as sinners. And you just keep getting beasted on in the paint and come, ah, ah, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, there is something you can do. Just go read. It is what it is, man. I'm gone. Peace.